Rows of medals represent an inspirational Seattle School District class, a class all into itself, a class that spans a century of generations, but linked by an irrepressible spirit to achieve. This is the inaugural class of the Seattle School District's Athletic Hall of Fame. It's 138 years of history with exceptional student athletes academically and athletically in Seattle. Anytime you're inducted into a Hall of Fame or something like that, I think it humbles you. Greg Lewis was a standout athlete at Ingram High in the 1980s. He went on to the University of Washington and then to the NFL. Yet he credits his time at Ingram as laying the foundation for his understanding of teamwork and diversity. <laughs> I was very intentional about getting to know people outside of my neighborhood, um, learning to, you know, different people, different cultures, you know, that sort of thing. So I think, you know, just having all of us have to come together on the sports field because we were all so different, you know, gave us an opportunity to be real successful. His was okay. one of 22 stories anyway. heard throughout this induction <laughs> ceremony at the Washington Athletic Club. 22 honorees, many of whom became household names like the late Ron Santo, baseball Hall of Famer with the Chicago Cubs. He graduated from Franklin High in 1958. Visit His son, Jeff Santo, held back tears. Being an athlete took him a long way, uh, a great journey he's had, and um, I'm proud to be a son. Thank you. It's really nice to be recognized and for my kids to be able to see that, yes, I was the bomb back then. Um. <laughs> Rhonda Smith dominated girls basketball at Franklin High before graduating in 91. She too became a Husky and played professional ball for nearly a decade. But that was after the landmark 1972 Title IX Federal Education Amendment that equalized athletic opportunity for female athletes. Champion swimmer Lynn Colella broke through pre-Title IX barriers at Nathan Hale in the late 1960s. She earned a silver medal in the Olympics the very year Title IX was implemented. Maybe what I did helped because somebody noticed that a girl could be an athlete <laughs> and, um, and that maybe we deserved to have some scholarships and some be able to compete against other schools and that, like the boys. Title IX opened the door for female athletes to reach extraordinary heights. Garfield High's Joyce Walker rocketed into the record books. Basketball All-American, Olympic gold medalist, state scoring champ, but most important to her, state championship winning coach and mentor to hundreds of student athletes. Athletics are a part of just growing. They teach you how to win how to lose with some grace. They teach you how to value the people that are teaching you. They teach you how to understand that life is never gonna be the way you want it to, but how will you show up the next day when you don't get what you want? This inaugural class is indeed very special, not just because of this most recent crop of Seattle student athletes, but for someone who walked these very halls at the Washington Athletic Club a century ago someone whose legacy of athletic achievement and leadership dates all the way back to 1908. William Jennings Coyle graduated in 1908 from what was then Broadway High School in Seattle. He dominated in football, track, basketball, and baseball. He was a war hero in the First World War and became Washington's Lieutenant Governor in the early to mid-1920s. With our shine shoes, I mean, our jackets, you know, dressed formally, looking sharp. We were with him when we'd come down to the WAC for lunch. William Lohman represented his grandfather at the ceremony and recalls how popular his grandpa remained. Just having people come up to him on the city of Seattle streets and talk to him about playing football, playing basketball, playing, running track. 22 inductees in all each with a huge story to accompany an even larger impact on athletics and life. Like Rainier Beach grad Nate Robinson, whom many thought was too small to make it in the NBA. For me, I had a great foundation in my family. You know, every day they always told me that I could and I would over and over. And it was just, you know, pretty cool to have that, you know, when you go home. And Dr. Charles Mitchell, Garfield class of 1959, an NFL veteran. He'll tell you it's not just athletics. 
My family um, encouraged us academically to, to get grades, all my brothers and sisters and all of them. So I, I feel that um, I had the best in all worlds. Jenny Crawford, Rainier Beach grad, international track star, and now school teacher, had one of the evening's most important messages. I feel like every um, athlete, especially professional athletes, has a responsibility to be a mentor, um, to inspire the generation that's coming up, you know. Because one day, a young Seattle student athlete will wear one of these.